N8R Tots asks, what would cause analog video to freeze? Um, N8R Tots, you asked about this way back at the very beginning of the stream. Let me scroll back and double check on this because I asked you a question. Did the OSD also freeze? Did he answer? He didn't answer? Dang it. He's still here in the stream. If you scroll he says, up, if you scroll OSD up kept, to, OSD kept he, updating he, video attached. Oh, go yeah, ahead. he sent you like a link in the first message that goes to the post that he made with the video. Oh, okay. Uh, D, 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 D. Let me find it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to play that during the intro, though, because I wasn't sure if there was sound. The fuck? So, <clears throat> you can see the video freezes, but the OSD locks uh, keeps going. Does the video ever come back? No, and then, then the video DTX overheats. What? That's crazy. Um, so, if this was a digital VTX then it's uh, the thing you need to know is that with digital VTXs, the OSD is a completely separate data stream from the video. I mean, they're, they're the same data stream, but it is actually much more common with digital VTXs to see like the OSD freeze and the video keep moving or vice versa because they're essentially sent separately. Um, <clears throat> in fact, with HD0, they're broadcast out into the air. And I've had cases with HD0 where there are two HD0 devices on the same channel, and I'm seeing video from one and OSD from the other, which was super weird. That doesn't happen with Walksnail and DJI because they have a, a, a sort of a bi-directional link between the two devices. Um, with analog, though, it's actually much easier to troubleshoot this because with analog, the OSD is baked into the video stream. And so the only thing that could cause this is if the camera froze up and stopped transmitting. This cannot be a video transmitter problem, and it cannot be a goggle problem. But weirdly, I would say not stop tra transmitting, it like continue to transmit the last image from the sensor somehow, right? Because right, like, because it's still, it, was, it was still... won't hold it in the buffer, right? The no, no, no. draw every no. new frame. Yeah. yeah. So the camera so had to keep odd. transmitting sync pulses. Yeah, of that one image. It's so odd. But uh, like, Blunty, tell me if you agree. This is 100% a camera it cannot problem. Be, it cannot be anything but the camera. Yeah. So replace your camera. Yeah, and, that's, and that's he did. Just for the record, they did, and it did fix it. So Yeah, you have a broken camera, replace your camera. Um, if, this, if this was a digital VTX, it could be a VTX problem. It could theoretically even be a goggle problem. But with an analog system, this can only be a camera. So sucks. Your camera was broken. Try and send your camera back to the. I mean, I would try to send this back to the manufacturer. Just give it a give it a try. You never know. They may send they may send you another one because this is like, like uh, it's hard to imagine that this is anything but a defective camera. Like even if they're going to argue, well, you crashed it, you broke it. Like the way that this is broken is so weird. I think you have a compelling argument that you should get a new camera from the manufacturer, but you never know if that'll actually pan out. 